Hi, let's continue with our SAT practice test. Here comes another linear function problem. For line h, the table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of y. Line k is the result of translating line h down five units in the xy plane. What is the x-intercept of line k? This table shows some points of the line h of the line h. Given that h is a line, we can use this form of the linear equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-coordinate at the y-intercept. Let's start with the slope m. To determine the slope m, we need two points, two order pairs. The first order pair is going to be x1, y1, while the second order pair is going to be x2 and y2. Do you remember the formula of the slope? The slope m is rise over run. The rise or change in y is y2 minus y1, and the run is x2 minus x1, or change in x. Okay, now we're going to plug those values in here. Let's start with y2. y2 is 160, 160 minus y1, 170, 170. And then comes x2, x2 that is 23 minus x1, that is 18, that's right. And then 160 minus 130, that gives us 30. And 23 minus 18 is 5. Finally, 30 divided by 5 gives us 6. And now we're going to replace that value in here. Instead of m, I'm going to write 6, 6. And then we're going to find the value of b. Yes, we need to find the value of b. To find the value of b, we need only one order pair, one point. We're going to use the first order pair because it has the smallest numbers. We just need to replace these two values in here. Instead of y, we're going to use 100, 100, 100. And then this is equal to 6 times x. x is 18, 18 plus b. 130, 130 is equal to 6 times 18 is 108 plus b. And then we're going to subtract 108 from both sides. From both sides. 130 minus 108 give us 22 and this is equal to b. That's right. Now the value of b is 22 and we're going to replace that value in here. That's it, we have the equation of the line H. We have the equation of the line H. We don't need to grab the line H, however, it's going to help us with the solution of the problem. We also know that the line K, the line K is the result of translating line H down five units in the XY plane. Can we determine the equation of the line K? Yes, we can. At this point, we must remember that if we have the graph of the function, Y equals F of X, and then we move this graph down five units in the xy plane, the equation of the new graph is going to be y equals f of x, f of x minus five. Over here, we're going to do the same. We have the equation of the line h. If we want to determine the equation of the line k, we're going to copy the same equation y equals 6x plus 22, and then we're going to subtract 5 from this side. In the following step, y is equal to 6x plus 17. Finally, we're going to find the x-intercept of line k. Remember that the x-intercept is the point where our graph cruises the x-axis. At this point, the value of y is equal to 0. Therefore, to find the x-intercept, we are going to set y equal to 0 and then solve for x. Instead of y, we're going to write 0. And this is equal to 6x plus 17, that's right. In the following step, we're going to subtract 17 from both sides of our equation. 0 minus 17 gives us negative 17, and this is equal to 6 times x. Then we're going to divide our whole equation by 6. Divide by 6, divide by 6. Finally, negative 17, 6 is equal to x. And we're ready for the final answer. The final answer is an order pair. First, we're going to write the value of x and the value of x, the x coordinate is negative 17, 6. And then comes the value of y. 
Never forget that the x-intercept, the value of y, is equal to zero. Our final answer is negative 17,6,0. That's all for today. We will continue with our SAT practice test in the following videos. See ya!